All right, so Google Chrome has been my choice of browser for the longest time ever. I mean, I've never really used any other browser, especially on my Android device, as much as I have used Google Chrome. It's the one browser everybody keeps coming back to. And while I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys watching this video would also have been using Chrome for the better part of your life online, I'm sure a lot of you might not have ever heard of these five hidden features that you can turn on on your Android device for a better and a more pleasant experience. With that said, what's up guys, Anbuf here, welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we're taking a look at 5 awesome, amazing hidden features that you should turn on on your Google Chrome whenever you're using it on your Android device. With that said, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the features that we are going to be talking about on Chrome are in the form of Chrome flags. Now, if you're not familiar with what Chrome flags are, very simply put, these are experimental features that you can turn on on your Chrome settings which work across all devices, whether it's Windows, your computer, your laptop, or your Android or iOS phone. But in today's video, we're taking a look at the ones that are really amazing to be used on your Android devices. Now, do keep in mind that since these are experimental features, they might cause a little bit of stutter or lag on your Chrome and even cause it to crash sometimes but if you like tinkering around like me it's probably worth it depending upon the kind of things that you can do inside your Chrome and more often than not they don't really crash. Now to install any of the Chrome flags that I talk about in today's video all you have to do is go to the link in the description at chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags and over there just search the names of all the hidden features that we're going to be talking about today. Alright guys so the first one is called smooth scrolling and as the title suggest this aims to either reduce or completely remove any scrolling stutter or lag that you might face on your Android device. Now to enable this all you have to do is go to the Chrome flags and simply search for smooth scrolling as I said and enable it and of course restart your Chrome application you'll have to do this with every single flag that you install in order to start using the feature that you have enabled. Now moving on at number two we have experimental QUIC protocol or the quick protocol. Now this is a protocol that basically aims at speeding up your browsing experience so pages will load faster in general Chrome will just be faster than usual or what it was before now quick is Google's own protocol that aims at making the web faster however do keep in mind that this only works with websites that are optimized to make full use of this protocol but then again something is better than nothing and if it does work then why not give it a shot definitely check it out moving on at number three we have reader mode and honestly this is a great flag if you want to read stuff off the internet it. However, you don't want all of the distracting images, the ads and basically other elements that are not text. Now once you turn on this flag by again searching reader mode inside Chrome flags, this basically removes all of these elements and keeps only texts in the form of websites. So it's great if you want to consume content, especially read content. So yeah, if this is something that you guys think you want, definitely switch it on. Moving on at number four, we have forced dark mode. And if you are a dark mode fanatic like I am and like the way it looks aesthetically as well as the amount of reduced strain that it puts on your eyes, you can turn on forced dark mode. Now, some websites on the internet do support dark mode, but if you want all your websites, basically any website you open on Chrome on your phone to be in dark mode all the time, turn this on and it's going to force dark mode on every single website. Alright, with that said, last but definitely not the least, we have parallel downloading and honestly, I know the feeling when you're downloading large files, especially on your phone using Chrome, the amount of time that it takes is a very long time, even if you have a pretty good internet connection. Now what parallel downloading does is basically break down the file that you are downloading into multiple files that are downloaded simultaneously at the same time so that it can get greater speeds and also download the file quicker. Of course, once the file is finished downloading, it puts it back into one normal file and you can use it like a normal downloaded file. With that said, these are five amazing Chrome flags which are hidden features that I think you guys should definitely use in case you guys are also using Chrome as your daily you know, browser of choice on your Android phone. If you guys think this video was cool, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and with that being said, this is Anubhav signing out. I'll be coming at you guys with a lot of new fresh new content like this very soon from now on. So keep an eye on your sub box, hit that bell icon. With that said, this is Anubhav signing out. You guys have a great day. I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, stay safe. Peace out. Mm -hmm.